Back guys, my name is Kirby. Today we're making Alexino choose because we got a lot of requests. Look at those right there. Please do Alexino choose, dude. Do the Alexino choose tutorial next, please. Alexino choose, please. Alexino choose tutorial, please. It would be cool if you do a tutorial on the beatbox song Choose by Alexino. So that's why I thought we're gonna make a big part of that routine and not the whole routine, but a big part of it. You can check out the description to see when Alexino makes the Choose himself, original version of it. And yeah, you can see the time as well. Also, I'm not gonna do the scratch. He makes a little scratch there, just a little detail. I'm not gonna make a tutorial on that because I simply can't do it. So yeah, let's get right into it. What sounds do you need in order to do this? So the first sound you will need is the so basically what this is is keeping your lips very loose and then singing a tone out of that so it's like a lip oscillation but very loose so that's not very difficult the thing that will be difficult is isolating one of those so I had a little bit of struggle to get that down what you kind of fall into is making like even though you're supposed to make it and it goes kind of like like you don't want that you want a isolated and precise what I do to do this is first step biting my teeth like this the second step is I say dun and then I close my lips over that and the that gotta be very forceful in one particular moment and you can use this to actually make that vibration in your lips. So I'm using my tongue actually to do this. Also, one thing I try to do is I don't make my sound regular. I make it very high, but also I'm making my voice kind of edgy. So it feels like it's up here, inside here, uh, up at your nose. It's like I'm almost blocking it up here in my nose. Try to use that sound and this will be much easier. So all the things to think about. So first you gotta make that voice. Second, you're gonna say with that voice, very forceful. And then you're gonna bite down with your teeth. And then you put your lips loosely over that. I found that worked pretty well for me. And I hope it will for you too. Also you will need a And now you can use those to combine it like But more about that later. You will need a BMG snare and making that same tone. You will need a kind of like an open lip bass. I really don't know what it's doing, but what I think it is a open lip bass. I may be wrong. And you make the lip bass, but instead you make it like open. And that's what I'm gonna use. At the same time, I don't think it's that important. You will need an outward K. You're saying K outwards very harsh. And then I will also type like this. And then I mean, and also this, and then I mean, it's just the shape of your uh, mouth when making those Ks. I also may be doing outward K and then rim shot, but the rim shot is saying K inwards in the middle of your tongue, so I go like, but I think you could do just outward K like. You will need the Starsky bass. I have a tutorial for the Starsky bass. You can check that out in the description. And you will need to make the. You'll need a sucker punch. You can search up a tutorial for the sucker punch if you need to. You also kind of need the combination of making a kick and then the sucker punch and then a hi hat. And when you make that hi hat, that hi hat is kind of inwards. You can see it's a very good uh, combination of making the sucker punch and then you release that uh, tongue from the roof of your mouth. That's a very good combination and I think you should practice that if you want this beat. You will need the inward lip roll with the pop. I have a tutorial for the lip roll and the inward lip roll and the links to them you can find down in the description. You will need the inward click roll. You can search up a tutorial for that as well. You will also need the case snare. 
I have a tutorial for the case neck and check that out down in the description. <laughs> That's the sounds you'll need now to the patterns before attempting the real routine. I think a good practice beat would be the I actually don't think I have too much to say about this other than practice this pattern. You will figure out how to do it, I think, if you practice enough. And after that, you're gonna sing in your very high voice. The reason you're singing in your very high voice is because it's the same tone that you make the So now the hardest part and the fastest part in this pattern. So the whole thing is I practiced a lot on this myself, so I will break down this into four parts. So the first thing is just a Starsky bass with a kick to it, and then if you practice the that this would not be that difficult. You make that three times, and then you make the kick hi hat, and they continue with three, and then it's a kick and and then you end with a. The second part is this. So the first part of that is not very difficult. It's just and then those two times again and then a kick and again as we did before and then continue with the right after that. So and now you make a right after that again. So that feels very fast. Very fast like that. And then you make and do that two times. And then this next part, I kind of like this part, and it's the This is actually not that difficult, even though it might sound difficult. And this part goes pretty fast. So you make the and then you make the And then you add the So you make that that two times and then right after that you make the and then again and then you finish off again with a and do that two times so all in all it's two and then just take and then two so So that's not actually very difficult. And then this last part, I don't know why I struggled with this, but yeah, I struggled a bit with this. And it's the... <laughs> the last thing I make the... I think Alex Senior actually make... But uh, something like that. But I like the... So I'm gonna use that. For this, you will be able to make the... So you breathe in and then make the case now after. some small things to think about here and when you make it fast you can forget about that but uh, it's very important that you pay attention to actually doing all this stuff not jumping over any steps. <laughs> so now if you got all of these four steps you can put them together and then try to get them down I will do it one time slow You can make that even slower by pressing the gear and making it slower. You might need that. So if you get this part, these four parts and put them together, then you got the most difficult part about this pattern. So here comes a practice pattern for the Starsky bass and it's a <laughs> Could be great to practice that a bit before attempting the routine. And also this. And the last pattern I will give you is the Here I make the outward K and then rim shot. You can probably make two outward Ks. The first one is a kick and then breathing out like, like taking a little pause. And then you make the P 
P-E-H snar and combine that with the K snar. Try to get some speed on that as well. And then I think you're ready to attempt the routine. So I will be making the routine that I'm making the tutorial of. I will have the beatbox script right on top of me as I go so you guys can follow along if you want to. And also you can press the gear and make it very much slower to fit you personally. Also you get the beatbox script down in the description so you can also practice for yourself if you prefer that. And yeah that's pretty much it so let's shoot the routine right away. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope your requests got fulfilled. And thank you almost for 2000 subscribers, maybe when I put out this video I already have 2000 subscribers. Thank you so much, I really really appreciate it. Without further ado, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe, because more is coming. My name is Kirby, and I am out.